This is Local 15 News. Hi, good evening, everybody. I'm Greg Peterson. And I'm Kim Thurman. Our big story right now at 10 o'clock. Federal authorities say Alabama has one of the highest rates in the nation for stolen guns. And we're number four in the nation for firearms being stolen from those licensed to sell them. Local 15's Andrea Ramey joins us now. Andrea, the ATF is investigating recent thefts in Mobile. Yeah, that's right, Greg. 28 guns were stolen from this one pawn shop alone on Dolphin Island Parkway recently, and authorities believe that this case may be linked to others in the state. Between the burglaries here at Parkway Pond and stone arms in recent months, the ATF says criminals have stolen 35 guns. And since those firearms have not been recovered yet, uh, we don't know if they're still in the area. Special Agent Michael Knight traveled from the Nashville field office to talk about the recent cases. He says this car may be linked to the break-ins in Mobile as well as other incidents in North Alabama. So not one or two firearms, many times it's, it's multiple firearms that have been stolen from these licensees at one time. Knight says the recent thefts highlight an alarming trend for the state. According to the ATF, Alabama has the fourth highest rate of stolen guns from federal firearms licensees in the country, behind Kentucky, New York, and Virginia. Last year, 610 firearms were reported stolen in the state. It is significant because what that indicates is there are numerous firearms in the public. The ATF also says Mobile has the highest rate of stolen firearm recovery in Alabama. It's very typical that most of the firearms that have been recovered that end up stolen have been utilized in, in other crimes, in particular violent crimes. Neither business owner targeted in the burglaries wanted to talk on camera. The ATF says a $3,000 reward is being offered for information leading to an arrest and conviction in the case. Now, Knight says that he also believes there's a high rate of guns being stolen from homes and from cars, but he says right now those numbers are not tracked. He says to learn more about other ATF cases, follow the agency on Twitter. Reporting live in Mobile tonight, Andrea Ramey, Local 15 News. Andrea, thank